Yo, what's good? Lock em up, nation! Welcome back to another video. If you're new, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on post bell notifications, you will not regret it. I got plenty of tutorials in the description. Tutorial playlist down below. Now you see GQ shot an air ball, but look at him. He makes up for it on the defensive end and gets the block shot. And I get the rebound. They play good transition defense, and for some reason, yeah. But you see in the title, man. This video, I'm going to show you how you can still win games in spite not shooting the best or just having a bad offensive game, whether you're having a bunch of turnovers or missing a bunch of shots wide open. This is how right here. Now, you saw in the intro, this guy is a two-way slashing playmaker, and he's got a couple shooters. But keep in mind, he is an 82 overall. That tells me either his shooting is not up all the way, or he does have a shooting up, however, he doesn't have any badges. So I'm not worrying about the jump shot one bit. And you see, Scams misses a wide open shot. Now, you're going to see some miscommunication. Yeah, I thought GQ was going to pick up on him. Our game plan was, he guards whoever's coming in the paint, and I just stay on the shooters and try not to allow any threes. Because GQ is a better interior defender than me, I mean... You saw the block, right? So notice this last possession. Yes, this was before the patch. That's why I'm still doing aggressive behind the back. But you're going to notice I'm wide open. I set my feet, but I hold it just a little too long. You saw the shot feedback. It was late. Now, most people will be raging, crying, and pouting. But I stay calm and collected. Keep that in mind. Next possession. Passing lane steal. And they get right back on defense. They weren't crying about the steal, most likely. Because they are back on defense. They are focused on stopping us from scoring. GQ was open, he hesitated, and he missed. Now, we're initially going to get back on defense. And you're going to see GQ picks up the guy going paint. Scams was supposed to go to the shooter. I don't know what happened between Scams and GQ right here, but he greens, and we're down 5 nothing. How are we going to respond? By me greening in both their faces, of course. Somehow only 8% covered, but you know, 2K logic. You know, sometimes you need the RNG on your side. We got to get another stop. Now, GQ is in the right by picking up on this guy, but luckily the shooter is going to miss and GQ gets the rebound, and I'm out in transition. I hit scams a little too late. If I would have hit him a little earlier, we would have gotten a bucket. But watch this. I do a pull-up. You saw I did the hezzy, but it still made me do a pull-up. But luckily, they're going to throw it out of bounds. But even if he would have caught that, I was still right there. I didn't cry about... Well, I mean, I was a little mad about it. But I still had the composure to get back on defense. And I had him stumbling a little bit. I'm just doing sand dribbles in the backcourt. Trying to figure out ways to get him to go into the screen. And this guy wisely reaches knowing I was definitely about to dot up GQ in the corner. But we do get the ball in the inbound. I give it to Scams. And I'm just going to see if he can work some magic. And unfortunately he's not. But GQ gets the rebound and hop steps for a very contested layup. But this time, hard work and patience pays off. Good boards on GQ's part. If you didn't know, if you weren't around 2K16 and on Xbox, he did lead all of 2K in rebounds along with block shots. As you guys can see, he's very good at by this gameplay. And the last gameplay, which I'll leave the link in the description. I might leave a card on the top right corner. But GQ with a nice hop step right there. Just like that, we are up. We got down 5 nothing. Usually, good bait by Scams right here. But usually when teams get down, they start pouting, blaming 2K, saying fuck Ronnie, all that shit. But we're just playing our game. We know if we play defense, we can win. And good bait once again. Scams with the steal. And I'm open. For some reason, I didn't shoot. But the bailout. Bailout on bronze for the assist. Ticino. What did I tell you, man? You don't need it on Hall of Fame. Bronze is fine. Unless they got Hall of Fame Trapper, which not many people use. But I know he's driving baseline. I don't know what he was thinking of all those hezzies. He wasn't going to fool me. And look at me. That was perfect defense. For a guard on a big, like, you can't play much better defense than that. But, you know, that's what center's going to get on guard. You got to live with that. Now, I'm trying to create something. Now, if GQ didn't set the screen right there, I would have had an open shot. What if I... Would have I have hit it? Who knows? But I'm wanting them to do their own thing. I mean, I don't know. And Scam set me up. I could have gotten this rebound. See, 
you gotta try and read where the rebound is gonna go. Because sometimes it might just go your way. I mean, getting back on defense, I had the right mindset in going back on defense. Now I'm gonna get a fast break bucket, but look at that steal, by the way. Great rotation. The defense is there. And GQ with the lobbed skimps, but sometimes a board might come your way. That's all I'm saying. Now right here, I don't know what this guy was thinking with that kick pass knowing Scams was right there. But Scams is going to pass it to me. And I find GQ for a wide open catch and shoot mid-range. Catch and shoot mid-ranges, here's a little bonus tip for y'all. Catch and shoot mid-range is easy as fuck. I green it almost every time. And even if you don't green it, it goes in like 99% of the time. The problem is, it's very easy to beat. So you got to make sure it is absolute wide open. But it is king on twos. And GQ holding his ground on defense. And I know this guy ain't shooting. Oh, he is shooting, but he's going to miss. See, I'm not worried about him because I know he can't shoot. You got to understand your opponent. Now, they're going to get the ball. Check again. I'm sagging off. I'm trying to bait him in the, you know, shooting a contested. But the center misses wide open again. And GQ finds scams. And he's going to miss. But GQ gets the board. And he draws the foul. So here's a little proof that patch 10 isn't going to affect me. I'm going to get wide open. Notice how I'm not using any aggressive behind the back. Behind the back to the three point hezzy, but I shanked it, missed wide open. It was low key a clip if I would have finished it. But you're going to see this guy drive right past games and I go in and get the block that was me. I got credit for the block you see on the box score. You see, the guy was held in check, and I know he desperately wanted a score. I know damn well he was not going to pass that ball up. Now, he's pass faking, and I'm feeding him the GQ. Siri, please shut the fuck up. But. Now, this you're not going to see from me anymore. A little snatch back. Has he aggressive behind the back for the easy dunk? So, this play, it's going to go a little different. I was able to get an easy dunk. Now this guy is going to go in for a what the fuck was that smothered shot. And I'm going to dot GQ and he throws it to Scams and he's going to miss. GQ even owned up to it in the party that he should have shot that shot. And this guy's wiping for a green. What is Scams doing? I'm not going to lie. Scams was leaving people open for three all night. But in spite of that, we just didn't really lose. But... I cook him right here for a nice little green, no aggressive behind the back. Now I'm going to let this guy rim run, and I'm going to feed him the GQ to get blocked. I know he can't shoot, and so does GQ. I just rotate to the shooter, and GQ goes to whoever dares try to test him in that paint. It's common sense. Y'all need to get y'all's IQ up, man. I'm trying to help y'all out. Now I'm staying under. I know he's not going to shoot. I clamp up on him. Now, center's going to try and drive on me after his pass pick, and the clamps kicks in, and I make him pick up his dribble. Now, he posts up, so I go back to the guard, because I don't want to get caught up, you know, having to play post defense on a big, because he's just going to score. The defense was going good, but we were not expecting him to shoot that or green it, but we should have known. I mean, close shots are just, y y you know. But GQ looked wide open for a dunk and for the game. But that was an excellent rotation on that guy's part. And Scams is doing backflips. I guess uh, that was Scams' way of saying you should have passed me the ball. But, I mean, the way he was shooting, I mean, I, can you blame GQ? But I hit him with behind the back. And I should have just shot off the hezzy. You see, my confidence was a little shaken up. And I missed the shot. But look at GQ, one of the best blocks I've ever seen on this game. Maybe period. The timing was beautiful. It was impeccable. We got back on defense. Look at what they're shooting. Look at what we're shooting. But the difference is, I should have gotten that steal. But we're missing mostly wide open shots. And we are actually making them miss. We are actually playing good defense. They're not playing good defense. But we know if we keep playing defense... The scoring will come. You know, we got some fast break opportunities and whatnot. So, you know, I beat this guy into a bad shot. And for some reason, he hits rim. How does a two-way slashing playmaker with no shooting badges hit rim 
on a smothered contest. That makes no sense. Alright, so look at how Scams plays defense right here. Look at the bait! Heavy contest, and it's going to go out of bounds. That's something you guys need to learn how to do. Bait. I mean, I got to get better at baiting myself, but you got to know how to bait, especially if you're a center. Baiting is everything, but we have another chance to win. I go down, and I think the center is going to jump, but he doesn't jump. He gets the rebound, and this guy scores in transition. They're up by one. That's on me, but I really believe the center was going to jump. I even owned up to it, but we have another shot. I want to go for the three personally, but if we got to take a two, we'll take a two, especially if we're playing defense with GQ wide off the pick and pop, and he greens the shot. You see, we couldn't buy a shot. GQ, you see, wasn't shooting very good. That was his first made three. He was over three going into that, but he wound up greening when it counted. But, if you're having a bad shooting game, don't rage, don't cry at 2K, don't cry about Ronnie, Mike Wang. Just play defense, man. I know it sounds cliche, but defense wins championships. Look at what they shot. As always, if you enjoyed, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on post bell notifications, you will not regret it. Also, drop a comment, let me know how you can overcome a bad shooting game, or just a bad game, period, and still come up with the victory. I know this wasn't the most entertaining video, if you stuck through, thank you very much, but I do have more entertaining gameplays. I got challenges, funny videos, I will leave the links in the description, I have a challenges playlist, I got a link to more park videos that are more entertaining than this video. I just made this video to help you guys out. Speaking of which, I hope this did help you guys out, but till next time, I am out. Peace.